Forests are at the forefront of combating climate change and preserving our planet's natural balance. In this video we'll discuss 5 ways satellite images and AI help preserve these natural assets. Modern remote sensing satellites capture an immense amount of data through multispectral sensors, including visible, near-infrared, and other electromagnetic wavelengths. The key to identifying tree canopies lies in their unique spectral signatures. Healthy vegetation has a distinctive response to electromagnetic waves, especially near-infrared. Leaves reflect near-infrared light due to their chlorophyll content, which is the signature for canopy detection. However, it's not as easy as it sounds. A healthy forest and a mature maize farm both have high near-infrared reflection, which means relying on near-infrared reflection is not enough to classify trees. And that's where artificial intelligence shines. These algorithms are powerful tools for extracting subtle features from satellite imagery. In the context of tree canopy detection, these algorithms analyze the spectral bands and identify patterns that distinguish forest trees from other vegetation surfaces. Using cloud computing power our machine learning models can process satellite imagery in near real-time. This capability is invaluable for monitoring forests and detecting sudden changes, which takes us to the next topic. The ability to detect and monitor deforestation in near real-time is one of the most vital applications of satellite and AI technology. By analyzing historical and current satellite imagery, we can pinpoint areas where tree cover is rapidly vanishing. This early warning system enables swift intervention, helping our clients to combat illegal logging, land clearing for agriculture, and other threats to forests. Tapping to more than 20 years of historical data, we can see deforestation patterns over time. This capability enables authorities and environmental organizations to recognize temporal and spatial patterns of tree loss and allocate their resources to the most critical areas. Reforestation projects involve replanting trees in areas where forests have been depleted or removed. Afforestation involves planting trees in areas that have not historically been forested. These projects are long-term investments and take both capital and manpower. Using our technology, we tap into our resources on wildfire, flood and illegal logging history and help our clients with site selection and resource allocation for their projects. On top of that, after trees are planted, ongoing monitoring is crucial. With our technology, we can process satellite images to assess tree growth rates and detect signs of stress or disease. Analysis of satellite images can do wonders when it comes to assessing wildfires. In this video, we'll explore how we use remote sensing to estimate risk of wildfires over time, developing tools to track them as it happens, and monitor extent of damage and recovery process. A good place to start to assess the risk is historical wildfires. Ideally, every local government has built its own granular database, but that is not the case. That's why we use historical satellite images year over year to build databases for clients. Wildfires leave obvious marks on land that can be detected with visible light. However, short and medium range infrared is a better tool, particularly because it's not easily blocked by clouds. The spatial scale and time horizon over many years makes algorithms much better than the human eye. That's why we use machine learning algorithms to classify burnt areas year over year. Taking into account historical events, we need to assess the risk in real time. Like any other type of fire, the most essential factor to start a wildfire is fuel, live or dead dense vegetation that is not sparse and is not always moist. Even in areas prone to wildfire, not all locations are the same. Using time series of satellite images, we assess three factors. How much biomass is available in the form of live vegetation? How much dead biomass is on the ground? And how much moisture exists in plants? On top of that, we add temperature and precipitation patterns to build a real-time risk factor for wildfire using our climate risk and machine learning models. Satellites are critically important for tracking the expansion and subsequent control of wildfires. There are a number of constellations useful for this task, for example, Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite, 
Visible Infrared Imaging Radiometer Suite or Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectra Radiometer. When needed, we tap into multiple image resources to provide firefighters and local communities the intelligence needed on direction and scale of wildfires to minimize potential damage. Wildfires inevitably happen, that's how nature works. After the event, it's a question of how long does it take for the landscape to recover. While satellites cannot see repopulation of birds or insects, they can assess the speed of vegetation regrowth. Here is an example of regrowth of vegetation in three years' time frame after the wildfire. Estimating biomass, which is the amount of organic material in forests, is critical for understanding their role in carbon sequestration. Satellite remote sensing, combined with AI algorithms, provides a scalable solution for estimating biomass levels across vast forested regions. Using this technology, published work in the Journal of Science estimates that tropical forests have been a net carbon source recently. Using our technology, we estimate location, time and extent of the change of biomass in the forests. The overlap of satellite technology and artificial intelligence is revolutionizing our approach to forest preservation. As a leading provider of satellite and AI solutions, GDS is at the forefront of this transformative journey, committed to safeguarding our natural heritage for future generations. Reach us at info at to discuss our solutions for the forestry industry.